Ooh, she's got a voice. Oh my god! Today we've got some more XG, this time it is left right off their little single release, the B-side. Um, we did the title track, Shooting Star, if you haven't seen that video already, I'll link it up above. That shit was a banger. That shit was a little hip-hop, little R&B, little scissor vibe banger, so I'm keen to see what this one's like. You guys told me to check it out too, and even said, even said that it might be on par with the other one, so like, I've come to check it out for myself, see if y'all are lying or not, because it's a big task to uh, to be as good as the shooting star that we just heard, because that shit is too fire. Um, anyway, if you are new to the channel, I must ask, every time I must ask, to follow the Instagram if you haven't already, um, and also sub to the channel so we get that number down. 85% is kind of crazy. Do the maths. Uh, 85%. We're at 20, what, 3,000. We could be near 100,000 if all 85% of y'all had subscribed to the channel. Potentially. So, like, come on, get that number down. Get that number down. Anyway, I don't want to waffle any longer. Let's get into left, right. I kind of like the camera movement right here, bruh. <laughs> by Chancellor. Have I heard that name before? I swear I might have, to be honest. I got what you want, I got what you need. Like you don't follow anything. Yeah, that bass came in smacking. I'm sorry for pausing it so rapidly. But this shit has potential, I can't lie. The vibe right now is smooth and nice. Excellent vocals from my girl here. The instrumental, the way that smooth little bass came in. Oh, they did not come to play around with this little this little drop here. No, 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 no. I want to hear it like the beast come in. Beast, bass. The doo doo. That part's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, these girls are not fucking around today. Rallies, isn't that a fucking is she talking about spinning her wheels? Because I'm pretty sure Pirelli's a tire brand, right? Oh my god, these motherfuckers did not come around to play with this little drop here. Ew, this is fat. Y'all went lying. This does give the title track a run for us money so far. Holy shit, it could be better. That's one of the girls that did the chorus in the other song, I'm pretty sure you guys said. Holy shit. 
This shit is fire. You hear, I don't know, Kokona's verse. Crazy. Isn't she like 16 or something? Gotta be one of the most talented out there, especially at that fucking age. Holy shit. And then the melodic ass background vocals in um whoever was after her's verse. Holy shit. Ew. Oh, she's good. She's good. You hear in the ad libs. Is, is this girl here during? Is she the leader? Because she gives me the leader vibes. If they have one. Ooh, chill. Did you hear like the beat as well? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is fire. Listen to the instrumental in the Kokona's rap verse. Kokona? No one did. Oh, how it came in. <laughs> like stuttered a bit. XTV certified. Oh, she's got a voice. Oh my god. Oh my god, she is excellent. Holy shit. I love them. Look, they're all smiling and shit. Yeah. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Yo, we're not lying. That shit. Oh, it is a tough choice. What's better, Shooting Star or this one here? Oh, that's a tough choice. Uh, I'd say overall. Like the whole song overall, I think I might like this one better to be honest. It all flowed too perfectly from start to finish for that whole 3 minutes and 50 seconds. The chorus in the first song, Shooting Star, probably is better than the chorus in this one, but overall like verses and shit considered, overall this song is better for me. Off first listen, let it marinate a bit and my, my mind might change, but this shit was too smooth. Their voices, all of them, fit this vibe to perfection, especially the two singer girls. What was it? I know one was Juria or something, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, was, was Chisa? Was she one of the other ones? Um, but yeah, whoever the like, two main people with her that was singing, their voices fit this R&B vibe to a T. And then obviously we got the rapper girls, Harvey and uh, Kakona in this one. Damn! Verses were crazy. Kokonas, if that's how you pronounce it, let me know in the comments because uh, I feel like K Kokona sounds wrong. But if that's how it is, then it is. Her, both of her verses were disgraceful. I need to know if she wrote them. It's a chance they wrote it at the start, so I'm assuming not, but like you guys will let me know, correct me if I'm wrong. But both her verses were wild in the best way possible. Shout out whoever made the fucking beat because that instrumental was too smooth, a little boom boom. Pom pom smooth little bass. Yes, please. Stylists did their thing too. Like, you ain't gonna tell me. Hold on, where is it? 
You ain't gonna tell me that these aren't some of the freaking coldest foods of all time. These pants are dope. I need some of them. I need some of them. All of them rocking the Jordans too. Stylus did their thing. Whoever done the set too, or the stage, whatever you call it, did their thing with all the neon and shit. Nice little vibes. Nighttime vibes. Drive-in vibes. Oh. They did their thing with this one. They did their thing with this one. If they keep dropping stuff but at the quality and level of these two songs on this little single here, they are a problem for everybody, every nation. Like, they, there's no stopping how far they can go if they keep dropping shit this, this level. And like, obviously this is a live stage, right? Yeah, shooting star live stage. It was great to see how much fun they were having with this, man. There was moments in there where they're like all smiling and shit, all happy. Like, yeah, you can tell that they are happy with the songs that they're releasing. And I would be too, if they were like this. Disgracefully good. Let me hear the little section of it again. Yeah, also let me know if you know is the leader, because as I said, she gives me that vibe. Yeah, this girl's voice is freaking elite. Yeah, Chisa and Juria, their voices match this vibe to perfection. So smooth. I like that back to back with Harvey. Down, down. I love how they always hyping themselves up in their songs too. Like they always have lyrics in there. They're like, we are the fucking top shit. I love that confidence, bro. Because it's true. Bobby's voice is so different, but I love it. I love it. Wow, she is attractive. Those vocals, holy shit! That is R&B vocals to a T. That voice is a bit more mature. Mature? Bit more mature. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was fucking elite. And it was all in English too, like I didn't expect that, but either way, I'm happy. I could understand it all, so that's good. And uh, yeah, Jesus, if they, let me check. Do they have like YouTube content, like them playing games and shit? Cause I'm gonna have to watch it all if they do. Um, but yeah, either way, I clearly thoroughly enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did too. If you did, make sure you leave a like and comment down below which song of theirs is their your favorite like discography as a whole and then also let me know which out of the two you guys like more as i said overall i'd say this one course wise i'd say the other one but yeah let me know your ratings and um i'll say it once more just quickly sub to the channel get this number down and also follow the instagram um i post a, quite a few stories on there i can't even lie so uh, yeah if you want to see those get there Hit the follow button, it's that simple. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Peace. Pistols close, bang. Pistols close, a hey. Missiles close, a hey. You can get exposed, a hey. Shoot choppers at close range. This bitch going both ways. When you